Hello, my name is Julian, and this is my house-sized cuckoo clock for Minecraft Competition 2019. So, it works like this. The door will open. The cuckoo will come out. A nice tune will play. The cuckoo will come back in, and the door will close. So, this is how it works. Let's see it in action. Okay, now let's hop around and look at this redstone in the back. First, I'm going to talk to you about the door. This is a triple piston extender to push up and pull down the door. It activates by this redstone being activated, which these repeaters will detect. Then these observers will detect that these got powered and activate these repeaters. This one will detect it and power that one, while this one is powering this piston. And also, while that's powered, it'll detect this. It'll make this one detect that. Then this one will detect that. This one detected that one. Push up that one, which will detect that it got moved, and push up or pull down that these blocks. Now, to the cuckoo. This is a triple piston extender to push up the cuckoo. It works by this redstone being powered. This one will detect it being powered. This one will detect that this one got detected by detecting that. And power this one, this one, and this. And there's also a repeater down here. Here's the cuckoo at the top. So... Now, if I go down here, this is a thing to stop the door closing while the cuckoo is out. So, the, it works like this. There are two rounds. The first round, it will pull back the block and nothing will happen. When the second round happens, it will push that block out, activate this dropper hopper mono stable circuit, and activate this competitor, which will activate this block and activate this pulse extender to activate this triple piston extender to pull down that block. And just saying, after the cuckoo, it goes 20 ticks and then goes on to the nice melody. Now, let's hop on over where the redstone with the button is. So, First, it goes down a long delay of repeaters. While, as well, this is going down here to deactivate that torch and activate this torch, which activates this line to activate the cuckoo. While that's happening, it also activates this, which is also the exact same thing as back there, except for this time the block is on the piston so it will push it out the first time so it activate in the second time it does nothing because it pulls it back they activate the dropper hopper mono stable circuit and does that and activates the pulse extender there so this was very complicated to make it go in the correct order it was very hard and I hope you like it. Bye.